Hi everybody. Uh, in this presentation we're going to take a closer look at a 23.5 second segment of 16mm DAC motion picture footage from the NASA archives that was shot during the Apollo 12 mission back in November of 1969. And this particular sequence was exposed through a window on the command service module while the spacecraft was in lunar orbit above the moon. And unfortunately this raw footage, as it's officially archived by NASA, does not reveal a whole lot to us, and this is because the space agency claims that this footage was accidentally ruined when the lens of the 16mm DAC sequence camera aboard the spacecraft somehow became unintentionally fogged over shortly before filming began. Because of this apparent fogging of the lens, this film sequence only affords us a blurry and obfuscated view out the window of the spacecraft, showing an oblique look at the sunlit lunar surface, with a portion of the lunar limb also visible. But due to the lens fogging issues, the raw footage is of such poor quality that it just does not appear to surrender much, if any, discernible lunar surface detail to us at all. While this fogging effect quite obviously degrades the quality of this scene, this clip does, however, still contain some viable image data that can be recovered through enhancement. And just to demonstrate this point and show you what I mean, if we stabilize or register this particular lunar surface scene and then frame stack the footage, this lets us build an enhanced composite still frame average of the full 23.5 second sequence of film. And you can see that this enhancement technique can at least partially eat through some of that fogging and blurring and noise that plagues these raw frames, letting us recover some of the buried image data so that we can at least begin to make out several lunar surface features now. And this pretty clearly demonstrates that there is indeed still at least some viable image data buried in the fog of this raw footage that can be recovered through enhancement. When we apply a simple contrast spike to the raw footage, we can see that there appears to be an unidentified object, or objects, that are just barely detectable floating over the lunar surface throughout the duration of the scene. And unfortunately, the poor quality of the raw footage makes it rather difficult to tell by contrast correction alone exactly how many unidentified objects were actually caught on film here. So, in order to answer that question, we can build another frame stack composite of the scene that, in this case, specifically targets and tracks the most prominent of the unidentified objects while ignoring the lunar surface backdrop. And this method just allows us to now identify what appear to be at least three distinct objects that were being filmed transiting across the lunar disk here. We can also produce a series of animated stack enhancements, and this type of enhancement, because it's animated, can allow us to better discern the flight paths of these unidentified objects, and you can see what appears to be at least three distinct moving targets that are visible. So that could mean that there are three distinct unidentified objects here, although we should also consider the possibility that at least one of these objects may actually be a shadow dropping onto the lunar surface that's being cast by one of the unidentified objects above. The reality, however, is that due to the severe fogging that the raw footage suffers from, there is just not enough image data available for enhancement that would let us really determine whether one of those three objects is in fact actually a shadow being dropped onto the lunar surface. And because of that, there is simply no way to accurately determine or even estimate any range or size data for these unidentified objects shown. Still, however, considering the poor quality and obfuscated nature of the raw NASA public archive footage that was available to work with here, at least we can now determine from these enhancements that multiple unidentified objects passing in front of the moon appear to have been captured on film during the Apollo 12 mission. These objects can be seen transiting the lunar disk here and were therefore located somewhere in 3D object space between the camera aboard the CSM spacecraft and the surface of the moon. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and until next time, cheers everyone and thanks for watching.